In this video, I'll be showing you how to make some rolling credits at the end of your video in the HitFilm 4 Express video editor. So, for example, if I pull up my uh, original video, you can see that there is this text that, the, that is giving attribution or credit to uh, specific uh, people for specific um, video clips and images. You'll notice that it faded in from the beginning and that it's rolling upward and that the text has a, a drop shadow that helps um, you know make the uh, text more readable depending on what's the background image and the background image also kinda zooms out so I'm, I'll be go ahead I'll be uh, showing you how to do that alright so if I um, double click on this um, composite shot you'll notice that there's a text field over here but that text field is actually only for this specific piece of text okay so that's one thing I wanted to notice second thing is that this text over here is actually just a PNG it's just an image and uh, note that it needs to be a PNG for it to be a transparent type of image and the reason why I chose an image is because images are really easy to um, use in the uh, hit film for expressive video editor whereas text is a lot harder to customize and really just uh, make it the way you want it to look and it's a lot easier to use an image to um, you know apply a drop shadow I'll show you what I mean so what I did if I go to my um, another program called GIMP any uh, video ed um, not video but any image editing program should be should allow you to put some drop shadow uh, or you know make some text and then apply drop shadow and uh, I'll show you how to do that in the GIMP uh, picture editor so what I'm gonna do is go to file I'm gonna make a new um, image I'm gonna consider the width of, of the video usually video format is um, 1920 by 1080p that means a 19 um, 1920 pixels wide and 1080 pixels um, high so the width of the image I want it to be like you know not so it depends if you want it to run for the whole way it won't look that good if you wanted to run from here to here it would probably be something like uh, seven seven thousand no seven seventeen hundred pixels uh, wide uh, for this uh, specific project I'll make it something like um, let's say 1000 pixels wide and it's gonna be depending on the number of credits that you have it might be like really long or really short and so uh, we want it to be like scrolling um, upward so to demonstrate that let's say it's 3000 uh, pixels high okay and then you hit the OK button and now you have this like long banner thing next thing you want to do is right click and add an alpha channel and delete the background so it's transparent um, choose a text I'll choose a white colored text and uh, let's see Sans is fine. Just, I wonder if I, uh, I'll just pull out some dummy text. Uh, maybe something like this. Control A, Control C. Uh, oh, I didn't. Okay, I didn't make the text field. So try that again. Just uh, scroll over, or um, you know, drag over this area, and then Control V to paste in the text. You can uh, change the size of the text, and I want this to be inside. You can change the size of the text over here. You can just click that to make it bigger. Let's say I want it this big, maybe one pixel less. Okay, like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. Control A, or you don't actually need to do Control A. Just right click the layer, go to layer effect, and go to drop shadow, and then uh, preview it and uh, a layer knockout drop shadow and you can you should be able to do this with Photoshop or any other um, photo editor and I'm gonna set this to normal see and that's how you would make an image like this so let's uh, hit the OK button and normally I would um, uh, hold control shift and E on my keyboard 
to export the PNG. If it's not a, if you make it a JPEG, it'll be like a white background. So that's why it's important that you save it as a PNG. So I would, you know, go to desktop and save it as credits, rolling credits, something like that, and hit the export button. But I already have it on my, um, you know, video editor. So I'll go ahead and make the other picture visible, and you can see that's, you know. Uh, with that same concept, I was able to make that image that scrolls downward. Now to make it scroll downward, I'm going to go ahead and show you it's this layer over here, that PNG image. I go to transform. I can, you can see a couple of things that I did, I did over here. So this, I have control over the opacity and the position. So in the beginning of the video, there was, um, you know, no text or no image. And then... Uh, as you zoom in or as the video keeps going the text appears it's very simple what you need to do you set like a keyframe over here to zero the next keyframe to 100 and each individual keyframe I changed to this particular uh, smooth uh, type and I did the same thing over here starting at 100 and then you know uh, fading out to zero for the opacity the other option that I uh, changed was the position. It's, uh, w in order to do the position, I'll just redo it so you can get an idea of how this is done. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. The, um, the wire thing. And so um, when the when the credits start um, fading in, we want the credits to be, for the person to be able to see the credits. So what I'm going to do, Control Z, is uh, select the credits okay and then you just scroll this all the way down like somewhere over here okay and then um, once the credits appear I want it to start moving upward so you're gonna select the position um, transformation you can enable it for keyframing and uh, choose it to be a smooth keyframe and then by this point in the video we want it to be uh, finished, uh, you know, rolling. So you want it to finish rolling at this point. And it'll automatically uh, make a keyframe for that point in the video when you move that image. So I'll select that keyframe and make it a smooth keyframe. And you can see how it works. Inclusion lines main is a motion with many health benefits and cognitive see. benefits. I would like to see and more research done on this mushroom in terms of how it can treat and cure diseases like diabetes and dementia. Thank you. And uh, so that's how you make a, a rolling uh, credits in your video. Last thing is if you want to, if you have like a background image that you want to zoom out, it's very simple. If you go to transform, you'll notice that, you know, I have a really big background image. I set the keyframe over here to 100, and that at this point in the video, I send uh, I scaled it down to 39%. Usually, um, I don't know the correct number right away, but if it's, I usually just you know test the waters, try 47%, or maybe like try 50%, 50%, and then if I see it's too big, then I just scale down to something like 40%, and so on. You get the idea. And um, that's how I would uh, make this uh, particular rolling credits for the hit film for Express Video Editor. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.